All right, what's going on, Brady? Uh, I'm gonna try to keep this short. Um, as far as the topic of you know time and stuff, I understand where you're coming from, man. Um, I have not had much time to do much of anything I want to do right now. I'm in the process of moving again, um, trying to set up job interviews for when I move down south. Um, so I, I understand what you're going through, man. Um, now, as far as what the crux of your email was about. Um, Tim, I understand where you're coming from, um, you know, we're trying to welcome new users and having someone that takes a Richard Stallman approach is not something we're trying to bring to the table. We're trying to bring a welcome mat, basically, and we're not trying to bring the stick, as it were. Yeah, we're trying to draw users in. Unfortunately, though, you know, this is part of the Linux community nonetheless. Um, you know, we got to take the good with the bad. Um, there are, you know, I like Tim's content, though, um, as far as his screencasts and stuff. Not always agreeing with his um, political views as far as uh, software and whatnot, you know. Me and you take more of a, if it works, use it mentality, um, which is fine, you know, for me, I'm a little more liberal on that, um, you know, I prefer more cross-platform software, so, you know, I try to use what I would use on OS X or what I would use on Linux or what I would use on Windows on the other two, so, uh, you know, I try to keep my software very limited, but available to all my platforms, so, that requires me to do that, then, you know, that's fine, but Tim is very set in his ways as far as, um, his politics that go with the open source stuff, and I can understand it, um, it's another aspect of the Linux community, um, you know, it, you know, it's... You know, it is, you know, we're calling, you know, me and Arthur, we're content providers to Ubernight, but at the end of the day, really, though, it's your site. It's, you know, we're, we just try to help drive stuff to you and, you know, traffic through it um, by providing content, or at least I, that's my intent, anyway. Um, so, I really can't tell you yes or no um, I think probably the best way would be to keep some of the more free software only mentality stuff off the page. Um, you know, I know we RSS the, the YouTube stuff a lot, um, and I understand that, but there's got to be a way we can probably pick and choose and filter some of the stuff, I guess. Um, you know, if people go to the channel, you know, his channel, through Ubernight, and they find some of the other content, that's, you know, that's through them, that's on them. Um, we're just a portal, basically, we're, you know, we open the doors and show what the Linux community is, um, but we're also trying to show that we're not a lot of jackasses and um, Richard Stallman types, uh, you know, we're not hard mind as far as, you know, free software only or whatnot. Um, so, you know, maybe filtering some content from his channel is probably be the best bet. Um, you know, personally, I would say it's something you probably have to talk to Tim about. Um, I know he's featured, but um, on the flip side, he's also been very welcoming to us on his site, so it's kind of, you know, we, we got a link sometimes to, you know, we gotta, we gotta expand, and sometimes in order to expand, you deal with the people that you don't want to be, you know, not necessarily not associated with, but that 
trying to not be perceived as. And I can understand that. But, you know, Tim Sight and Oop and I are so close as far as um, not necessarily what we're looking to do, um, but the overarching goal is the same. You know, place for Linux users, new Linux users specifically. You know, via Ubuntu, you know, Windows, whatever. Um, you know, personally, when I try to do stuff for Ubuntu, I, I, yeah, you know, I concentrate more on Linux, but I try to bring an over arcing thing just in technology in general, you know, things like what's Linux being used in, um, you know, is it a new phone, is it something like a Sony Milo, or is it an Arcos, new Arcos MP3 player, you know, that kind of stuff, but I don't know, I really can't tell you what to do, dude, um, so uh, my best recommendation would just, you know, probably really going to have to talk to Tim directly about it. Um, that's just my take.